To demonstrate the WFS sensor, we want to highlight the simple teaching, either static or dynamic, the slim lower fork design, and the low cost. To teach the sensor, we can do static or dynamic. We'll start with static using the target in the sample kit. What we do is we place the target, the label, underneath the sensor and we push both the plus and the minus button for one second. We then let go and in static teach we right away press the minus button. Now going back and forth we can demonstrate that the sensor switches on the label. To do dynamic teach we simply push both buttons again for one second and as the red LED flashes we move the target in and out of view of the sensor. To complete the process we push the minus button then once again the sensor is taut. If you lose this card you can also use a piece of paper folded in half using this side as the label and this side as the background. Then to demonstrate the lower fork design we simply need to explain to the customer that this lower fork allows the sensor to be mounted much closer to a roller where there is less flutter in the material and we will get a more stable switching threshold. Do not forget the low cost of the WFS sensor as well. Thank you.